sucks. Hey, big bro. Are you feeling okay? It's been so hard doing online, and I just am really sad missing my friends. Yeah. Have you talked to anyone about it? I don't feel comfortable talking to mom and dad. Yeah. Have you tried video calling the counselors? I guess I'll try that. Yeah, it'll help. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Elva. <laughs> I got your email. I'm so excited that you're here. Please take a seat. Thank you. Okay. So you had been saying that online school has been a little hard for you. Yeah. Tell me about that. Why has that been hard? I just miss all my friends and I feel like they're all having fun without me and oh. I'm just not there. Oh, they're not having fun without you. Don't worry. So you were saying that you're worried that your friends are having fun without you. Do you have people you can talk to in your family and who are around you that, that you can talk to and, and get that connection with? I mean, I do have a younger sister who is awesome, but my, my parents, I don't really like talking to them. I just oh. don't feel like they understand as much. That's fair. Well, so we do have some really awesome resources for people who are struggling with this because this is a really, really hard thing. We as human beings are built to be together and when you have to be apart, it can have a real psychological damage. So we have some resources. So here's a list. Oh my gosh, is that you? Hey. Where have you been? Um, my mom's signed me up for online. Oh, that sucks. We've missed you at school. We have? Yeah. I just thought you guys didn't care, or, like you guys were having fun without me. It's been so sad without you. We've missed you. Really? Yeah. I miss you guys too, so much. So what have you guys been up to? School. <laughs> School is like so crazy, but online is so much harder. I bet. Honestly. Are you going to be coming back? I don't know. Maybe when the coronavirus is over, my mom's so. So what do you do if you feel like him in the video? Well, if you're here at school, you can always find a trusted Hope Squad member, talk to a counselor, or go to one of your trusted teachers. If you're at online school, you can use this amazing app called Safe for Utah, or you can schedule an appointment with your counselor. If there's any more serious matters than that, you can use the following links on the screen. I'm here at Lehigh High School. I teach ceramics. Hi, I'm Mr. Hawes, and I teach painting, drawing, AP art, and honors art. Um, right now it's Ceramics 1. We're going to build a program to include Ceramics 2 and Ceramics 3. And then I also teach art foundations. In painting, we work with watercolors and other types of paints like acrylic. We do landscapes, um, portraiture, so pictures of people, um, and abstract. So there's a lot we do. Ceramics 1 is introduction to clay. So you learn about clay stages and how to work with clay through those different clay stages four different building techniques, including wheel throwing. You should take this class whether you're good or not, or you should take art whether you're good or not, because you can develop your skills and become great. Ceramics, it's, it's kind of passing off those how to build techniques like coil, pinch pot, slab, and wheel throwing. And once they cover the basics, then I give students a theme or concept that they get to decide what to create that kind of goes along with that theme or concept. So there's a lot of room for creative um, planning and growth, and a lot of room for students to really make what they want. Tech Ceramics is awesome. Hi, I'm Ms. Scott. I'm one of the school counselors here at Lehigh. Uh, my alphabet is M-O through S-C. Today we are gonna be talking about scholarships, and I'm gonna go over um, a little bit on the counseling webpage on where to find scholarships and how to apply for them. All right, as you go on the counseling webpage under scholarships listed here, um, we have quite a few different scholarships available. There are general scholarships listed here, and that has about 38 pages worth of scholarships. So as you go through here, you can see them listed by deadlines. Um, so we're in October, so you can click on it and it will take you to all the scholarship opportunities that are listed for October. Um, it lists the criteria, 
the amount awarded and the deadline and the application where you can receive it. If you come back to the counseling webpage, there are school specific scholarships listed here. Um, and that is where you can find departmental scholarships based off of your major. You can find academic scholarships based off of ACT and GPA. You can find performance scholarships. You can find needs-based scholarships that require the FAFSA. You can find private scholarships. Um, so as an example, we'll look at UVU. And their deadline for scholarships is March 1st. So you just want to be aware of when scholarship deadlines are and make sure you apply before them. So you can apply right here. You'll come down here to freshman and you'll be a resident student. And these are for seniors, these school specific, just so that they're going specifically into the school of their choice. If you need any more help, you're welcome to contact your counselor. We'd be glad to help you out. Um, and it's great to apply for as many scholarships as you can because you can stack them. Um, so please reach out to your counselor or apply for as many scholarships as possible. Hello there, welcome to Gamer News. I am your host Tessa. Today we are talking about the purchase of the Zenimax Media by Xbox. Xbox has just recently bought Zenimax Media, aka Bethesda, aka id Software, etc. The purchase was $7.5 billion in cash. This could be an advantage for Xbox because Doom is a household title along with others such as Fallout, Wolfenstein, and Rage, and they make a lot of money. Well, that is all for today. See you next time. This is Tessa signing off.